Whoa, okay, what's the matter? You leave now and I'm not going to have to. Hello? I am standing right here. John is my friend. I don't want him to leave me alone. Can't you see what he's doing here? I wanted this, Jared. Get that through your head. And if you think that I want you protecting me from anything, let alone this terrific guy, then you don't know me at all. Well, my apologies. I didn't mean for this to get so out of hand. Why are you acting like this? I, I, I just don't get you. I think you do. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll leave the three of you to talk. I to think. I was the one painted as the bad guy in all of this. The one who was unfaithful, the one who couldn't be trusted. Dorian, we've broken up. Listen, this is also the first time since Texas. Oh, really? Do you expect me to believe that I happened to walk in on you the only two times that you were kissing? Why are you here? It doesn't matter now. But may I state for the record that you have taken advantage of this man's grief and you had it planned since the day you first moved in here. Right, Nora? Look at this huge list that you made. You want to do the mambo? <laughs> Ride a motorcycle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> go on a date? Hopefully you can go on a date and do the mambo at the same time. Mama, most people don't even get through half of this stuff in their lifetime. And I'm an old woman. It's okay. You are a beautiful, beautiful woman with a beautiful soul. It's just the, you know, you're so... I'm not as innocent as you think. I know you've been through a lot in your life, Mama, but, you know, the world, it's, it's changed since, since I was locked away. You know, you said yourself, you don't even know how to use the oven. I mean, do you know what um, a call waiting is or an I am? They did let us watch television, Claire. <laughs> You know, I don't even think you know how much I worry about my daughter on the internet. And there's so many predators out there, and when it comes to you, I don't even know where to begin. You were my protector, my mentor. You're, you'll always be the most important person in my life. But it's time for you to lay down your burden. You don't have to look after your mother anymore. I like caring for you. I know, and you did a wonderful job. But it's my turn now. It's finally my turn. I never understood how you could blame Christian for what happened to Evangeline. Evangeline was with a bunch of people who were attacked and targeted by a racist group of people. Stay out of What's this, Vincent. What's that do with Christian? Stay out of this, Vincent. I'm not saying that what happened to her was your fault, but if she hadn't been with you, maybe things would have turned out differently. You don't think I tell myself the same thing? My daughter loved you. And you pushed her away because she made one very simple human mistake. She spent the last months before she got hurt being miserable. Trying to win back the love of a man who thought he was too good for her. If you loved her, why couldn't you forgive her? I forgive her now. That's, oh. that's what I want to tell her. It's too late. You treated a dog better than you treated my beautiful, smart, generous kind of Angeline. She was a star in everything she tried. Tennis. Law school, defending the poor and underprivileged, and you made her feel like she had nothing left to fight for. So, yes, I blame you. You hurt my baby in ways that even that racist couldn't. Stop it, Mama. Don't you go spreading hate, too? I am not the one who... You are! You 
aren't acting like the mom that I love. Take back what you said to Christian. Or you're not only going to have a daughter who you cannot speak to, you're going to have a daughter who won't speak to you. Are you going to go after your son? I think I have to. Good. Good for you. I don't want to leave here without you. Oh, try. I would love to go with you. But I shouldn't. Really, I, I think this has to be between you and your son. You really think so? Yes. You know, I told you about my daughter, the, the one that I didn't know until she was grown. Oh, she despised me at first, and she hadn't known me as a little girl, so we didn't even have that history to fall back on. But you worked it out now? Well, yeah, it took time. I know, I tried everything, and I looked to others for guidance, but in the end, it was just something that she and I had to work out together. Huh. And it's all okay now. Oh, it's so much better than okay. It's wonderful. And she's wonderful. It's why I feel so badly for her now. Yeah. She's going through a real bad time. Oh, that's a that, um, jerk you were telling me about. Broke her heart, huh? Yeah. Now, you're not feeling guilty about being here with me, are you? I wouldn't try it last night for anything on this earth. But you know, I think there's a reason we don't know each other's last names. And I think it's because we both know that we are on separate journeys. <laughs> you know, two days ago I was dead drunk. And, you know, I might have been able to get my act back together by myself, who knows, but... You picked me up. Cleaned me off. Set me straight. You gave me another chance at living. You don't even know this, but you did the same for me.